What's up guys, I'm Rasim from rustmartech.com and this is another tutorial in Swift programming. Now in this class, I'm gonna talk about the control transfer statements. So let's get started. So now in this class, I'm only gonna talk about two of the statements, the continue and the break. Now let's start off with the continue. Now what the continue does is basically, uh, it, it only works in loops, by the way. So once you uh, type in the continue keyword in a loop, once it gets to that line of code, it'll stop the loop and start the loop over. So it will reset the values, stop the loop, and it'll start over from the top of the loop. So I'll show you how that works now. Let's first declare a variable and begin to use the variable keyword. So let's type in bar, hit space, let's call our variable red, and let's make it equal to zero. The integer value is zero, by the way. So now let's start a while loop. To start a while loop, again, we're gonna type in while, while is a keyword, and we're gonna say while red, our variable red is less than six, then we're gonna hit space, then we're gonna use this open and closing curly brace. In between the open and closing curly brace, we're gonna hit enter a few times. Again, this is a while loop here and we're testing whether or not red is less than six. Right now, red has an integer value of zero. So as long as red is less than six, the loop keeps happening. So now let's uh, give it something to do every time the loop happens. And I'm gonna type a print line statement. So type in P-R-I-N-T-L-N, open and close parentheses. In between the open and close parentheses, we want to print out the value of red, so I'm going to type in red in between the open and close parentheses. So after that, now we're going to type in continue, C-O-N-T-I-N-U-E, continue. Continue is a statement, and again, once it gets to this line of code, it'll stop the loop and restart it. So the loop will reset and start from the top again. So I'm going to hit play and see what happens. Build succeeded, and as you can see, the loop is not stopping. It just keeps on printing zero, zero. And on the left top here, you can see my all my resources are being used, my memory, my CPU, because the loop is not stopping, it's just going and going and going. I'm gonna stop it from here, but uh, I'll explain to you exactly what happened. Uh, again, uh, we started off with a value of zero. Our variable red had a value of zero. We started a while loop. And we said while red is less than six. So as long as red is less than six, the loop is gonna keep going. So it printed out the value of red first. The first value of red was zero because we gave it a value of zero first. So that's why it printed out zero. Then it got to this continue. So again, the continue loop stops the loop, restarts it and starts from the beginning. So that's why it kept printing zero, zero, zero because the loop never stopped because the loop was always less than six. So that's what a continue does. So now let's talk about the break statement. So let's delete the continue and we're gonna type in break, B-R-E-A-K. So what the break does, it basically stops the loop. Once it gets to this point, the loop stops. Every time uh, the break uh, statement is executed, the loop completely stops. So let's hit play and see what happens. Build succeeded and it only printed out over here zero. Again, it only printed out zero because the, the loop stopped after it printed out the value of zero. So it never got a chance to loop because it, the, the keyword break just broke the loop. So if you wanna break a loop inside a loop, use the keyword break or the statement break actually so yeah that's pretty much it for this video now if you guys like this video please give me a like if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel i'm Rasim from rossmartech.com and thanks for watching